What is up, bros? Josh here. And today's video is based all around a question I had in World of Warships. So I said, heck it, might as well make a YouTube video, show you guys my results, and maybe answer some questions that you guys might have had along the way as well. And that is all over AP bombs. Now, I was playing the other day, and of course, when AP bombs are dropped, and I was comparing um, some midways that had AP bombs, HE bombs, and just wanted to kind of know how devastating AP bombs are. We've all seen devastation from these AP bombs on Bismarck's turpits, obviously some cruisers as well, just being absolutely nasty. But one thing we don't really see the massive, massive hits on are the high tier battleships. So I was kind of interested in seeing why or who of the of which ones of the high tier battleships, especially the tier 10s, which we're going to focus on today, get the biggest hits from battleships and if we can find out why. So if you don't know what AP bombs are, they are a new option that has come to World of Warships and are only available on the USN lines. Um, there are some that are actually like the Enterprise, which is also USN, and the Graf Zeppelin, and I think that's about it. But mainly the higher tier USN ones, where you do get the chance of going to the AP bombs. And these things are absolutely monstrous. At tier 10, they're 1,000 pound bombs, and they can do a massive amount of damage. But breaking it down, it's which of the tier 10 battleships are going to actually get the most amount of damage. Now, we are going to stick with the normal tech tree ones because the Borgonia is still work in progress. We're not going to touch that because things are subject to change. So we're going to start with the Monty, see what those dives and see if we can find out one we'll do on this test. We're going to do five drops on five stationary targets with both on the auto drop section. So we're just going to click on both of them and see what kind of damage we do. We'll look at the results and then we'll try to see why those results happened and the reason behind and, you know, if you are safe in a certain battleship or you're not. Engaging enemy. Approaching target. Returning. Returning. Approaching target. Engaging enemy. Returning to ship. Returning. Approaching target. Approaching target. Returning. Returning. So overall, this is really surprising to me with the Montana is Montana is a big battleship, but it just didn't care about these AP bombs. It really just kind of shrugged them off. And as you can see, just a ton of overpens, which was something that was super surprising. Normally, when I play these ships, I expect to just take a massive hit when it comes to these uh, AP bombs. And really, I didn't see it. We didn't get one. Now, I actually ran this test twice on this. Um, one of my the first recording uh, basically got like ruined by my audit by my uh, video editor. But in this run we didn't get a single drop of two sets. Now that's with a ten point captain as well. So that's with fourteen dive bombers that actually went over ten k damage. We averaged just over eighty three hundred damage per drop, which really isn't that much when it comes to these big battleships for as as much of this battleship is. And just look at how many overpens there are. Now that's one thing that really kind of take into effect is when you are looking at this ship and when you actually go in and check out the armor layout. Now, the reason why we aren't actually seeing that is because AP bombs require a certain amount of armor to actually fuse and get going. And this actually doesn't quite have it because as you see, the Citadel deck on the top side is only 19 millimeters. So they're basically what's happening is they're just plowing right through this. Now, it would be a little different what would happen in the real world compared to what's happening in game, but they just aren't even arming. So you aren't even getting the damage. Everything's just basically going right through. And probably the full pens we're actually getting are on these small little, maybe the conning towers, maybe the top of the uh, main batteries, stuff like that. Maybe like the, the structures here, it's getting a little bit. So that's how we're out of 57 bomb hits, 42 overpens are just piercing right through this armor thickness and going right through this citadel so it's not even arming the need it requires a certain amount of armor to actually get going so then it can do, then obviously hit the citadel so this was one thing that was really kind of surprising me is how kind of i would say just how much the montana laps it off and um just doesn't take much damage so if you're in a montana you're basically safe i would say quote unquote safe um you're taking a on average an 8300 um da damage hit kind of sucks but when you have you know 90 plus thousand life you're kind of going to be okay especially going that you're obviously going to be more worried about torpedoes than you are dive than these dive bombers but anyways with the montana you can kind of shrug these off and not really worry about them too much 
So the second battleship we're going to be checking out is the Republic, the Tier 10 French battleship. And this is the first one we actually started seeing some big substantial damage when it comes to these big AP bombs. And the reason being is that deck armor. Again, with that Montana, it's basically just going to slice right through and not really do anything when it comes to the game mechanics. But with the big armored deck and actually being a pretty wide ship when it comes to that, I mean, we can look at the Montana as well. Montana is about the same size, but that thin, thin armor deck um, on the top isn't really going to do anything. So the protective deck on the top, which tends to actually get the Republic in trouble with a little bit of the HE um, on, on the top side, if we add in this part, um, the, the armor thickness there. But if you take this out, that 150 millimeters is actually, you would think of the armor, the extra armor would be nice when it comes to the game mechanics of the AP bombs. Um, it's actually kind of a uh, detriment for this ship when it is getting attacked. Let's go check out the, the drops and we'll compare the results at the end of the five drops compared to the Montana. Approaching target. Engaging enemy. So as you can see, a massive difference when it comes to damage, um, nearly three times the amount of damage. Again, on the Monty, we dropped five times, never once hit um, uh, so, uh, hit above 10,000 damage, averaging 8,300. The Republic averaged almost 21,800 damage per hit. And as you can see, the difference there is basically the amount of full penetrations. Um, only five non-pens on 58 hits, three overpens, which could have been very small areas so it's kind of hard to really kind of look too much into the overpens there but the full 50 full pen damage and that's when you're gonna get those high rolls of damage and consistent so comparing to the montana's damage of 8300 which is almost you can kind of laugh it off getting a big hit on the republic um is going to be pretty substantial knocking out a uh, you know about a quarter of your life if not more on an average hit 21k so um pretty close to that 20 percent maybe of your full full health and it's really tough with the, the the type of damage to actually repair that back so definitely need to be a bit more worrisome of the ap bombs um luckily the republic does have a decent amount of aa so you can kind of shred some planes as they come in again this is these are standard hits so uh they're obviously going to be a little inflated damage wise but still Having the AA, so you're going to be a little bit more safe when you're playing Republic compared to Montana. It doesn't quite shrug them off as easy. The third ship we're going to check out is the Yamato. And this is a ship I thought might do a little bit better or might do extremely bad. I wasn't exactly sure when it came to this. This was kind of like the wild card for me. Um, obviously, we know a certain ship is going to get absolutely beat up by these. But the Yamato, I just wasn't exactly sure. It's pretty it's pretty wide when it comes to it. There's uh, not too much superstructure, but there is a big wide open deck. And again, if you take off the deck... There is that Citadel deck armor right there. So we're probably going to get see the similar uh, results to um, the Republic. We actually see a very similar results to that as well as one other ship. But um, let's check out the drops and we'll see how the Amato does against the Midway AP bombs. Returning to ship. Returning. 
So this one kind of surprised me a little bit. The Yamato taking a little bit more damage than the Republic. On average, about 350 more damage per hit. The average damage of 22,145. Um, still, massive big hit. Our, uh, another 26,000 hit. We saw our first 27,000 hit when it came to the Yamato. So again, that big armored deck on top working actually against the ship when it comes to AP bombs. It's fantastic for, I guess, AP shells and stuff like that to shatter those. But with those AP bombs, they're getting those full pen damages and third highest damage so far, third highest average damage, only a tad higher than the Republic. I bet you I could maybe run this again um, both of these ships again, and I bet you the results would be pretty close. Um, we did see more in the 20s, as we saw in the Republic, a couple in the teens, and we had one random hit on the Amato that was in the just under 15,000, that third hit that we saw. So maybe if we reroll re that, it's going to be a bit higher, but surprisingly, the Amato was pretty similar to the Republic, and it's because we're going to see pretty similar arm are pretty similar deck amounts when it comes to this for the protection of the top of the citadel so again we're going to be seeing massive uh massive uh, protection but we're going to be seeing um full pens when it comes to all this we aren't seeing those big citadel hits we're seeing on the lower tier stuff we'll go over that at the end of the video but uh the yamamoto third highest uh when it came to it so right in the middle of the pack so if you are an yamato and you see those ap bombs you are not safe you will be taking a decent hit for sure um and with having a much lower aa than almost all of the tier 10 battleships you definitely need to be careful in having that aa ship next to you or hopefully your cv is competent and can protect you from that big old ap drop so the fourth ship we're gonna go over is everyone's favorite battleship in the game the conqueror now the conqueror is one that really surprised me as well kind of like the montana because if you look at kind of the armor that it has on this ship, it's actually very similar to what you see on the Montana. So looking at that, you don't really see a lot. You see the deck armor of 63, the Citadel deck um, of 63 millimeters. So that's definitely going to add some, enough for full pens. But a lot of it is Citadel deck of 19 millimeters, which we saw on the Montana. So this one for me was a little interesting on the results. Um, but still, we saw a bunch of damage coming from this. And as you see as we're building up in damage this one's going to be a bit higher and this having one of the lowest um health pools of tier 10 a big hit on this ship is going to definitely put you out especially when it's pretty hard to heal it but anyways here come the drops on the conqueror the tier 10 royal navy battleship approaching target engaging enemy returning returning approaching target Approaching target. Returning. Returning to ship. Engaging enemy. Engaging enemy. Returning to ship. Returning to ship. Approaching target. Approaching target. Returning. Returning. So there are the results, just a tad over. This one was really surprising to me. I wasn't exactly sure why, and we'll just throw it up too as I'm fine with the Conqueror getting picked on. That's that's okay with me. Maybe it was that 60 millimeter or just the the addition of all that, but the fourth highest, um, well, the second highest, sorry, the second highest average damage of 22,760, about 600 more on average than the Amato. So as in a conqueror, you are not safe, but we all kind of know that. Luckily, you are pretty stealthy, and, you, and if you do spec this thing out for A, you can absolutely shred planes. So you do have that kind of, uh, you know, locked away. And most of the time, if you're a conqueror, you're way back in the end of the field. So a CV is really going to have to hate you if it's going for you. But you are definitely not safe when it comes to conqueror. This one was kind of a, one of the weird ones for me, being the second highest with the smallest health pool. So AP bombs be picking on conquerors. So if you're a midway, go do us all a favor and take out the conqueror because... Uh, nobody wants to play against Conqueror. This one was interesting to me, so kind of surprising that this would be the second highest. So the last but not least battleship is one that we're just going to have to pick on, and it's the German battleships. These are known for taking massive hits um, when it comes to it. It does have the 150 millimeter Citadel, so of course it's just it's just a massive ship. It's massive. Um, there, there's a whole bunch of armor everywhere. It's wide. It's fat. We all know it. Luckily, it does have the biggest health pool. Let's check out the drops on the GK and see what we get from these AP drops. Approaching target. Approaching target. Returning to ship. Returning to ship. Approaching target. Engaging enemy. Returning to ship. Target. Returning. Returning to ship. Approaching target. Approaching target. Returning to ship. Returning. 
So that was kind of the results I was expecting. I was like, I was kind of expecting to see some citadels when it comes to this, but we do get that 150 millimeter plating um, that's probably just enough to stop them from actually getting to the citadel. So tons of tons of full pens, as you see, probably the most bomb hits out of everything. So that's going to add up to it. With it being just the biggest battleship and just the biggest, uh, you know, widest everything that is the GK, we are taking obviously the biggest hits. Nearly uh, about six just under five and a half k right around there average hit higher than the second highest ship which is the conqueror so gk averaging over twenty eight thousand from a double ap bomb um luckily i guess with this ship you do have a massive hit pool the biggest of all tier tens but we did see our first thirty thousand hit when it came to this um now i do kind of want to talk about uh now the reason we do see uh the one that always does now i was kind of expecting to see this take a bit more hits i was i was potentially hoping to see that citadel but again the 150 was probably just enough but we definitely don't see what we normally see on like the like the turpits these are kind of known for just getting smashed and so they're probably right in the middle of that arming of 80 millimeters when it comes to uh the citadel deck on top so um these are known for just getting citadel off the planet same with some of the cruisers and stuff like that but um i was hoping to see a bit more we never saw a single citadel i think i did uh, the five sets of five when it came to it, and then I had to end up having to redo three of them. So I saw a bunch and didn't see a single Citadel. So most of these are either going to, one, probably overpen, or two, just uh, you know just get full pens when it comes to it. It's probably just that kind of that sweet area of not getting absolutely obliterated. So things that surprised me the most is just how much the Montana just kind of doesn't worry about them. Um, honestly, HE bombs would actually probably be better. I wonder what the HE alpha damage would actually be when it comes to these. I wonder if it'd be pretty comparable maybe not but um i wonder i wonder what it would end up doing 14 he bombs on the on the monty i think would probably be pretty close when it comes to that and then of course you have the dot damage but monty if you're in it and you see those those ap bombs coming towards you you're going to be pretty safe honestly so um you will take a, a little baby hit but it's nothing too crazy uh the repub again was another one that kind of surprised me too um and just kind of how kind of close the repub the conqueror and the mont and the model were um with having kind of different armor layouts but i guess i guess close enough in the parts you really need to look at um pretty similar size when it comes to these the conqueror too this one really surprised me though uh with it just taking more damage than the other than three other ships this was i thought this was gonna be much more like the the montana this thing just got absolutely beat to hell and of course we weren't too surprised about the gk um, when it came to it but anyways this whole video was a question i had and i wanted to get answered when it came to ap bombs i know those things are the terror when it comes to um battleships cruisers especially and um just seeing those things drop and just get absolutely obliterated especially like graph zeppelins dropping on turpitzes enterprise dropping on turpitzes stuff like that and you just see them disappear dev strike dev strike so um it was kind of cool this is one uh i had some questions and i just wanted to kind of see what would happen when we drop some ap bombs in a controlled area so anyways just to recap montana on each drop average just over 8300 the republic dropped uh just under 22k about 21.8 thousand the model just over 22,000. a conqueror higher end of the 22,000, and then gk getting wrecked for 28k on average but anyways guys that's it for me let me know if you guys enjoyed this video if you guys learned anything um like i did or if you guys just kind of knew this um let me know if you want to see this done maybe on cruisers or something like that it'd be kind of interesting to see just which cruisers are the worst and if we can find out why but this was a question that I had, and I just wanted to find some answers, so I, I thought, hey, let's make a YouTube video. But anyways, guys, that's it for me. AP bombs from the midway against the Tier 10 battleships. Some interesting results, and I hope you guys learned something like I did. But anyways, guys, that's it for me. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.